Hi, welcome in part four of the Fusion 360 full guide building your own arcade cabinet. And in the first three uh, parts, we designed our cabinet. It looks great already and we have lots and lots to do. So let's put on the timer and I will try making it uh, under 20 minutes, but this will be tight as this is a little bit more work as we will be building the uh, control panel, which will be a lot of fun. So let's get started. Let's uh, delete uh, or uh, let's hide the origin point. Let's go to display settings, set the uh, visual style to shade it with um, visible uh, edges only. And now we need to make the control panel box and the panel. And there are several ways of doing it. I could of course select this face and make a sketch, but I'm going to uh, try a different approach for you. So um, press uh, S on your keyboard. Select the box, click on it, and now we're going to make a box uh, right here on this plane. I'm going to select this point right here, and I'm going to snap it all the way here. And now I will make this box 100 millimeters high. And don't forget to uh, choose new body. So this is our box. Great, almost done. So let's shape this a little bit. Press the M for moving it. This way you can moving it. Now you don't have to do with um, uh, creating new bodies and stuff. So of course you could also select the face and press extrude, the E. You can extrude it the same way, but now it, it wants to join it. Uh, and you think this is no problem. If you join it, now it is also joined. Let me show you. This is a complete body, so your whole Cabinet is now one big body, you don't want it. So choose the move tool, press M, move it 100 millimeters to the side. Do the same with the left side, move it 100 millimeters to the left. Now the front, we will be move, moving this a little bit further and you can just estimate this. And I generally uh, take a look at, um, at this part here and make it a little bit more than half the width. So we could go for 220 maybe. This will be fine. So we have lots of space. And of course in your design you can do whatever you want. This is the fun part of designing your cabinet. So let's uh, select these two lines here. Now um, go to modify and choose camfer. Now we can camfer it. Let's do this uh, 150 maybe. This will be this will be fine, I think. 100, maybe 155. This looks really good. And of course, this is just only the shape. It's not a buildable model yet. So let's do that now. Let's select it, right click, and now create a sketch. Press O for offset. Select the outline. Offset it by 18 millimeters. Oh, sorry, minus 18. This is the width of our material. And now we actually uh, kind of see what we're doing here. Let's right click, select perspective with orthophases so you can see. So now we can see that we have some outlines here. So press the L tool for line. And now, just as we have done with the arcade cabinet, we are just going to make some boards, some cuts. And as you can see now, these could be the new boards. And this is the way I generally like to do it. So the sides, uh, I run all the way through to the back and the back panel is right here. And of course we also have the bottom as well. So let get rid of the body, right click, um, uh, delete, just, oh, Right click, uh, remove, I think. No, oh, I'm still in the sketch mode, sorry. Finish sketch, go to the body, remove the body, just like this, so we only have the sketch. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, extrude it by minus 100 millimeters. Now, of course, your sketches are gone, but they will reappear. Extrude it by 100 millimeters. Don't forget to select new body, just like this. 
Let's do the front, minus 100 millimeters, new body. And do the sides, minus 100, new body. And minus 100, new body. And this way we are quickly building a box. Uh, minus, oh. Stay focused, Daniel. <laughs> new body. Now make the bottom, minus 18, also makes this a new body. Now, I will, I will be naming these bodies, of course. Let's press M to move it. Now select the pivot point. I want the pivot to be on the bottom. Let me show you, right, right here. Press done. And now if I move it, I can select the bottom of the panel. And now, as you can see, my bottom is on the bottom. So we are on our way, uh, but not quite done yet. As you can see here, there's this gap in between the, uh, the box and the glass, which is not a big deal, which is not a problem at all. Let me see, uh, by the way, I'm missing a part. I see that I'm missing a part. Glass holder, front glass holder. Hmm. Something happened with my, my front glass holder. <laughs> One part is missing. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, what happened. Well, I don't care. So, uh, front glass holder, let's remove it entirely. Let's select the back glass holder, Control C, Control V. Uh, I'm not sure if I will, <laughs> if I will keep this in the tutorial. Uh, I might. Great, and we're back. <laughs> okay, there's my glass holder. So anyway, let's get the, the side back on. Anyway, you can see that there is a gap um, in between the control panel here and the glass. So let me show you how we'll be how we'll be how we will be fixing uh, this. Now let's um, start with the control panel top. We could just select every part individually. So let's select all the faces like this, all the way. And now you know the drill. Press E for extrude. Extruded by 18 millimeters the panel thickness. Select new body and bam, we have a control panel top. If you want to see it, choose visual style and choose show hidden edges. It might be a little bit difficult for you to see now, but it will make sense uh, in a minute. So visible edges only. So let's continue to work on the panel. Let me get rid of the sketch here. Let's select all the sides of the panel and move them out by 20 millimeters. This way it not only looks better, but it is also a great way when you want to uh, attach maybe a steering wheel or a joystick or, or some kind or any peripheral that you want to attach with a clamp to your control panel. And 20 millimeters is generally a, a good practice. So now you can see that it looks really nice already and it's very sharp. We will be working on that as well. So now let me show you how we are going to fix this part here. Um, so let's select our front glass holder and let's extrude it exactly uh, uh, to the top of your control panel. Not press join, but do new body, just like this. So now it should have the same height as your control panel, and it, and it does. Now it's not connected. You would say it's connected, but it's not. There are not only two separate things, but they are not touching. To be able to use the combine function, the combine function we'll be using in a minute. Deselect the control panel. Take the front face, move it out a little bit, just a tiny little bit, so it will be touching and everything will make sense in a minute. So press combine, select the target body, 
and select the tool body and now press OK and now it's one body as you can see. Now for some reason you can still see the line. It is one body but you can see the line. If um, you want a quick and dirty way to solve this just select the face you can see, pull it up a little bit, select the front face and just press the lead key and now by magic uh, you have one beautiful body. So let's name this body control panel top and uh, quickly name the other bodies as well. So this is CP left and this is CP left front, CP front, CP right front, and this is CP right. Let me see, uh, we are on schedule. This is the CP back and this is the CP bottom. Okay, great. Now, of course, it's, uh, it does not look uh, good yet, so let's work on that. So, let's hide the side panels for just a bit. Let's hide it. And we are going to select these parts here. Just hold the shift key, oh, zoom in a little bit, hold the shift key and choose fillet. Now we will fillet it by exactly 80 millimeters, just like this. And now it looks much nicer, much better. Um, we are also going to do this here and here. Press fillet again, also do 80 millimeters. And it's starting to look beautiful already. Let's do that here as well and at the front and we don't uh, use 80 millimeters here, we do, we estimate it a little bit. So I think 55 would be great in this case. So now the control panel really is starting to look like a nice panel. So uh, let me get the side panels right and left off, uh, on, back on. So there will be T-molding applied to the side of this panel and this will intersect, let me show you, with this part, uh, with this part here. So let's make this and this, select them both, both faces, press M for move and move them back just by 2 millimeters. Oh, not 21, 2 millimeters. So let's do that uh, here as well. Select both faces, press M, move it by 2 millimeters. Oh, of course, minus two, minus two millimeters, M minus two, and there we are. So we are looking great. So let's start the buttons and the, um, the joysticks and the trackball, etc., and the spinner, etc. So right click on it and choose create sketch. And this is our play field. Now, it would be great in this, uh, at this time to choose uh, hidden edges. This way we can exactly see uh, um, that we still are in the box, so that, uh, that our buttons are not uh, protruding and uh, intersecting with the box here. So you can exactly see the box um, underneath, so this is a great way of doing it. So let's start with, um, with the line in the middle. And as we uh, learned, we make it a construction line. Let's press C for circle and let's make a trackball. And let's make it 82 millimeters. Uh, if you are going for the ultimate trackball, um, the U trackball, the 82 millimeters is exactly the correct size. So you can just insert it in your wooden panel. Um, if you are going for the bezel that comes included with, um, uh, with the trackball, so you're not laying it in, but it's kind of on top of your panel, you need a bigger cutout. But this is if you want it flush uh, with your panel and only the bowl is protruding. Um, it is still uh, non-defined, uh, of course, because it doesn't know where it is in space yet, but I don't know where I want the trackball as well. So I leave it uh, undefined. And um, let's see, let's make, uh, a joystick hole. I normally make joystick holes 30 millimeters 
and then I make some 28.5 millimeter uh, holes, control C, control V, and I separate them by minus 40 millimeters. And I do this again, minus 40 millimeters. And now everybody always asks me, uh, what is the best uh, layout and how do you do it? And there are many layouts you can find online. You can just copy, uh, copy them. And uh, almost all layouts are, are fine, but this is what makes it tricky. It's just experience. Make as many control pins as you can, uh, sketch the layout on paper, put your hand on it. I mean, you are building your own arcade cabinet. You can make the layout however you want. Uh, I'm going for a simple layout in this tutorial, but of course you can go for eight buttons or seven buttons or get them in any direction you want. So for this layout, let's say I give them a slight angle, like a minus eight degree angle. And let's put it here. And of course, again, this is just the layout I'm using for this tutorial, but you can use any layout you want. And of course, if you bought one of my designs, um, the layout will be uh, completely thought out and the dimensions will be uh, correct, of course. But this is just for the tutorial video. So let's make some administrative buttons. Um, let's do 28.5 and let's put it minus 40 and do this again minus 40 and minus 40 now we're going to select them all and we're going to move them well just around just about here a little out of the way just like this Now we can make this line 20 and this line 20 as well. And these need to be 40 and this needs to be 40. Great. So these are our administrative buttons and let's copy them. And because we need some uh, start and coin buttons as well, just like this. We copy them again, we put them somewhere here. And now we want these two to be horizontal, so just select them and select the, uh, let's see, select the sides, uh, the centers, sorry. Select the centers and choose horizontal. Bam! And now they are horizontal. Let's give some mouse buttons maybe. So let's take a line here, make it a construction line. Let's make this 24.5. I like to use 24.5 for the mouse buttons. Let's give them a dimension, maybe uh, 20 here and 20 there. Let's finish the sketch. And maybe we would like some pinball buttons as well. So right click, create sketch. Select the pinball button. Maybe we would like uh, to have a, another pinball button. I'm not sure uh, how you would call it, but um, this is the one to slam uh, on the cabinet or to, or to use an extra flipper. Let's make it 40. And make sure you're not hitting the uh, bottom of the panel. Let's select it, finish sketch, extrude, and quick and dirty, extrude it all the way through, press enter. And now we have some pinball buttons. And now let's extrude the buttons as well. Select them all. Press E for extrude. Minus 18. 
and now get the uh, visible style back to shaded with visible edges only. And now we have our uh, control panel ready, which looks awesome. So we have pinball buttons. Of course, you can add USB panel mounts here. You can add a amplifier, but you will get the idea. But this is how you would make um, a control panel. Before we end this part of the tutorial, let's work a little bit on the cabinet. As I have shown you, let's make it a little bit more beautiful. Select all the sharp edges. Just like this. Select fillet. And let's make it 20 maybe. This looks really good. Yeah, this is exactly how we want it. So we are almost done. Thank you so much for watching. In the last part of this five part tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the arrange function, make all the panels flat, export them out to DXF or to any other format. So you can actually print them out or uh, import them in your, um, in your other software, uh, or you can print them and stick your prints on some piece of plywood or MDF and cut them out um, yourself. I'm going to show you quickly how the render feature works, how to apply decals uh, to your cabinet, uh, how to render it. And I'm going to show you how to make a technical drawing um, uh, in the drawing uh, environment. So that will be a lot of fun. And then our cabinet is completely done and we can actually build it. So thank you so much for watching again. Please like, subscribe and, and share this video with your friends if you like this. And uh, I will see you in the last part. Bye.